Hi, I'm going to show you simple applications of LCM and GCM. First, I have here two cards, this and this one. This card can move around the black in 10 minutes and be at the starting point. Well, this one can circle the same block in seven minutes. At what time these two cards be at the starting point together? We have 10, we have seven. The LCM is 70. Therefore, these two cards will be at the starting point together after an hour and 10 minutes. We'll have another example. I have your lollipop, 10 lollipops, and mm, 12 jelly aces. I want to put this in a party bag with the same number of each kind. I want to know also the greatest number or biggest number of lollipop and jelly aces that will contain each party bag. We have here 10 lollipops, we got 12, so the GCF is 2, which means there will be 2 lollipops in each party bag. So let's have this, this, and this. And there will also be 2 jelly aces in each party bag. There you go. We have leftovers of two jelly aces. We cannot use this because we don't have a loaded pop anymore. So in this case, we have five groups of two lollipops and two jelly aces. So we need five party bags. Here are word problems to direct our understanding and learning of the GCF and LCM, its applications in real life. Our keywords for LCM are cycle, repetition, happen at the same time, smallest or least. And our informative words to indicate the content for GCF are group, split or divide equally, share, greatest or biggest. Villanelle is making identical balloon arrangements for a party. She has 24 maroon balloons, 32 white balloons, and 56 dark gray balloons. She wants each arrangement to have the same number of each color. What is the greatest number of arrangements that she can make if every balloon is used? Let us check the data. How many maroon balloons are there? There are 24. White balloons are 36. Dark gray balloons are 56. Our keywords are identical, the same, and greatest. Therefore, we are to use the GCF process. As you can see, dividing the given numbers by a divisor of 4, the results are 6, 8, and 14, which is divisible still by 2 resulting in 3, 4, and 7. Multiplying 4 and 2, the product is 8. Therefore, the GCF is 8. 8 means 8 arrangements. It means 8 groups. It denotes 8 sets of different volumes of equal numbers. Let us discuss further. 8 is the GCF, the largest number of arrangements. 
You may wonder how many Marlon balloons there will be in each arrangement. What to do is to divide 24 by the GCF8. The answer is 3, which means there are 3 maroon balloons in each arrangement. Dividing 32 by 8 is 4, means 4 white balloons. And dividing 56 by 8 is 7, which means 7 dark gray balloons in each group. Let us figure that out. In each arrangement, there are 3 maroon, 4 white, and 7 dark gray balloons. This is set 1, set 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. There you go. Let us have problem number 2. Boxes that are 6 inches tall are being piled next to boxes that are 4 inches tall. What is the least height in feet at which the two piles will be the same height? The keywords are the least and the same. What do you think shall we consider using? Yes, you are right. LCM, the least common multiple. We have 6 inch and 4 inch tall boxes. Both numbers are divisible by 2. Dividing 6 by 2, the answer is 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2. There is no divisibility number by 3 and 2. Therefore, the LCM is the product of 2 times 3 times 2. The LCM is 12. If the LCM is 12, then there will be 2 6-inch boxes and 3 4-inch boxes. The least height is 12 inches. Remember, we are tasked to convert inches to feet, but since 12 inches equals 1 foot, the final answer is 1 foot height. It is the least height where the two boxes will be of the same height. Let us have a recap of the uses or applications of the LCM and the GCF. Remember the capturing ideas for LCM. First, an event that will be repeating over and over. Purchase or get multiple items to have enough. Figure out when something will happen again at the same time. Key ideas about the GCF. First, split things into smaller sections. Figure out how many people to invite. Arrange something in rows or groups. Let us check this out. There are two pieces of ropes. The red rope has a length of 45 inches and the black rope has a length of 63 inches. Ropes are cut to equal length without the remainder. Find the weightest length that the pieces can be. Our keywords are equal and greatest. We will use the GCF concept. If 45 is divided by the GCF 9, the answer is 5. If 63 is divided by 9, the result is 7. The biggest length of rope is 9 inches. If I may ask, how many red ropes will there be? Yes, you are correct. 5 red ropes cut into an equal length of 9 inches. How about the number of black ropes? Do you know how many will there be? Good thinking! 7 black ropes, 9 inches in length. How many equal pieces of ropes are there in all? 
The total number of ropes is 12. Are you getting this? I hope it helped. Word problems are on. It is yours to answer. You may check the Khan Academy website. It will be of great aid to your studies. You may pause the video. Take time to answer the given word problems. Time to check. For number one, 45 notebooks. Number two, nine students. Three, 60 questions. Four, 13 packages. Five, seven notes. Did you get it all right? Congratulations. 